We're at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival and we'll be talking to Mark Ruffalo who's being awarded the America Riviera Award. This is DP News and it starts now. I mean you try as a cinematographer to make every moment count and, and every moment be powerful and meaningful from a visual standpoint. And um, I think on, on this film there's a moment in the story where things are really unraveling. There's this explosion of a house and, and the aftermath of that is the, the movie changes visually and, and uh, it becomes harsher and starker. So that section of the film for me is my favorite. There's lots of people at high school trying to figure out what they want to do for a living. How did you find that like this is what you love doing? Oh my god, uh, that's going a long way. I, I, uh, I'm from France, so I, I, I remember watching The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> in the theater when I was in my hometown in Lyon and I was thinking well how did they do that you know and uh, and my family uh, they were not in the film business at all uh, but they were they loved movies so we were watching movies we were my dad had a super 8 camera we were filming you know little animation blowing up stuff in our garden <laughs> with my brothers um, so that's how it started for me. And Guardians 3 it's like it's a beautiful movie what Thank was you. your favorite scene to like work on the effects for? It's a, it's a hard question because it's like choosing between your kids, you know. Uh, so, um, but I loved all the scenes with Rocket, obviously, because uh, I worked on the first film. Uh, I was the supervisor on the first film, and, and finishing that story arc for him was very important for us. Um, and also, he was the main character of the film, really. So, um, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of a lot of pressure on us to get it right. Hi, um, so we were wondering what inspired you to get into directing and uh, also what advice would you give to uh, future students or other young people wanting to get into directing? Uh, I studied photography and I think that there was kind of a natural path between photography and filmmaking and I've always just been really curious about people and the way people live and finding kind of unique stories. and. Um, I think a camera allows you into someone's life in a really interesting way to observe and understand and question and document. Um, and, you know, I think for anyone who's curious about it, just go out there with a the camera and make something. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Oh, um, so we're from a student news program from Dos Pueblos High School. Yeah. Uh, we were wondering what inspired you to get into directing and uh, also what advice would you have for young people looking to become directors in their future? Well, the advice is to get ready to fight because the industry is hard and it's becoming harder. And it's uh, today's, uh, today more than ever, it's uh, crucial to fight for your own ideas. Uh, people are going to tell you the best thing to do and that's not important because uh, you have to do your own thing and not the best thing. Uh, what drew me to directing... Uh, well, actually, I'm coming from uh, a family of, uh, of doctors, uh, but my mother, she was a sort of black sheep in the family. Uh, she quitted the university and uh, she fed my sister and me the whole time with uh, movies and ballads and books and everything. And so I guess this is one of the big reasons uh, I'm happy to, to become a director and do movies for my own living. Great. Thank you so much. You. Appreciate it. Hi. Uh, hey. We were wondering uh, what inspired you to become an actor and if you had any advice for young aspiring actors. Um, it was just, uh, it was actually the theater. I, I, had, I did a small part in a play and uh, it was just incredible. I got a big laugh very early on and then I said this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And uh, I'd say for the young people, uh, you know, no one could stop you but you and um, develop, your, uh, develop yourself, uh, develop who you are outside of the, m the magazines and social media, um, find out who you are and find your own voice and, uh, and what's important to you. Tonight has been a great night for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. This is Ava Canfield reporting for DP News.